And hello, welcome to an Astron toy review. And here we have Junkie from Transformers the Movie uh, Studio Series 86. This is number 14 of the line. He is a retool remode of Rekgar. His background set drop is Junkie on or Planet of Junk. He is in his oh so wonderful windowless packaging. And as much as I complained about it on the RC movie uh, studio series figure, I do like we can see the figure to make sure it's the right one we're getting. Which is a notch above the windowless packaging of solid boxes. But still you have the creepy crawlies that can make homes inside here with your figure. So, outside of that, you can see he's right there. And, yeah, I think it's R.I.P. Mitten Box Collecting. And so let's get him out of the box, check him out, compare him to Rekar, and see if he is a worthy addition to the Studio Series collection. All right, and here Junk Heap is, out of his package and put into a pose. Don't mind uh, Bailey in the background. She's trying to get the cats to play with her. So the wheels just peg in here on the legs. They can't go up here on the arms to do these pieces. This weapon slots into his hand and pegs in there. Turn the figure to the back. You see a small port, uh, hexagonal hole. Where's that pentagonal? Not a hexagon. Which, the little post here goes to store it. You just like handle up so they can reach back and grab it. So, he has all the same basic bells and whistles as Rekgar does. Um, And since we'll be bringing Rekkar out to compare them, what we're going to do is, is check the articulation. Head's on a ball joint. Look up that far. Look down. No far. Can get a decent twist on his head, but he collides with his windshield with his uh, little handlebar things. His arms are on universals. Mushroom pegged up here where the shoulders are. Swivel, eh, you know, basically 360. Can go up this half. Bicep swivel. Full range of motion on a pinned joint elbow. And wrist swivel. These do not come off that I'm aware of. Nope. With swivel. Uh, ab crunch-ish, but it's due to the transformation joint. Get the saddlebags out of the way. He, he's got unrestricted movement aside from his wheels. Take the wheels off. You'll be able to go all the way out. Way more than splits. He's, he's sitting there with the, the chair sitting there kick way up, the knee articulation is just as good as the elbow, toe, be, uh, up and down toe action, once again transformation, ankle rocker, go back that far, so yeah, and thigh swivel, so, let's compare him to the most like thing, I do have the Generations versions, but they are in storage. As I was saying, my Universe versions are in storage. Due to that display falling apart. Okay, yeah, Rekgar has 360 rotation on his head. But here he is with Studio Series Rekgar from Wave 1 of the Voyagers. 
And they look good together. Like, you can look at them and tell that they are from the planet of junk. Now, lore-wise, I don't know if they're Autobots, Decepticons, random Sabatronians that just kind of made their home there. One of the theories is that Junkion is a piece that was blown off of Cybertron. And these were the inhabitants that were there. And because they had to survive, they just became their own faction. But, you know, Rekgar is their leader. He's talked TV. Who talks in through boops. And now the news. Don't touch that dial, as Cup would say. So, anyway... Let's get him into bike mode and see if you can reenact something from the movie. I'm almost certain you can. Because, if I'm not mistaken, there's a peg hole right there. And when you have him in a bike, because, you know, Rekkar's a leader. <laughs> He's going to be riding on Dominion. When you have him in his bike mode, if I remember correctly, there is a peg in the seat compartment. Okay. Arms go up. Like so. Get rid of the fists. In you go. Get in your home. And then yank this out. That appears to be a seat. That'll allow you to separate these and bring this part out. Flip his wind windscreen into place, windshield, windscreen, whatever it's called on a motorcycle. Not a biker, I wouldn't know. So you take his handlebar thingies and you flip them in. And then all of this... Goes up in there. Ah. Get in there. There we go. So essentially, there's your gauges for your bike. Ah, there's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so this should all line up. Just like that. Got him sitting down here. Next, you take these pieces. They should plug in right there into the biceps. And if I remember Junk Keeps Design, the gun goes forward. And then squeeze his wheel in here. Guess I should have done that before I locked it. Let's see. Nah, I can get in there. Not like this is a third party figure or anything. Mm. Okay. This doesn't feel right. It doesn't look right either. But maybe it is. I feel like this should be not broken up like that, but I don't see any other way for it to be. And that's because that's the way it goes. So on the legs, he flick. What? That can't be right. Flip 
put the feet forward. I really do not feel that is right. Well, hang on a second. Let me look see at something. Kick them forward. Put the thing in. Hold them down. Okay. So this is like this. These will rotate this way for the time being. Just like that. The reason this doesn't make sense to me is, yeah, it just doesn't. Lock the wheels in, uh, leg knees in there. Kind of like a detigrade leg. Pop the rear wheel in. Both sides of his knee. And then just kind of line everything up. Bring this piece around, and it's going to tab in right there, just like that. Do the same thing here, and this will lock the figure into bike mode. And there we have the get kick stands out. Our display feet. There we have Junk Heat in his motorcycle mode. Not too shabby. And his weapon just sits out on the back. So take this and just yoink it right there in that three millimeter peg right above the tire. He has a pinwheel. So, can Retgar ride the motorcycle? Let's find out. I don't see a reason why he couldn't. Mm, well, maybe I could see a few. Of course, he's going to have his axe out because, you know, he's going to Beat the head in some fools that dare to be stupid. So you got a peg right there. On the front of the seat. That peg should line up to this notch. Right here. But then you got this. I wonder what happens if I... Or you could jigger that just a bit. Let's set that aside for now. Can Retgar. And it's starting to look like a no. That's something that you could do with the uh, Power of the Primes one. There we go. He's in. And we're on the handlebar looking up. Let's take this wheel, put it on neither leg. This will go on arm. And put this right here. I'm not even going to attempt to roll these guys. This is a tenuous thing at best. Essentially, it's for display. So, there's Junk Heap with Rekgar. About as silly as you'd expect, but 
It's exactly what you want Junkions to do. The only way this could be better is if they give him a cup style gimmick where you can interchange your bits and pieces. And maybe the next two Junkions we get will have that functionality. So there he is. I hope you all enjoyed the review and transformation, assuming that any of that got caught on the viewfinder. By the way, you cannot offend me, so feel free to make fun of my uh, beginning videos here as much as you want. I'm really hoping here or soon, next couple of months, I'll be able to upgrade to an actual camera instead of having to use my phone. And with that being said, be good to each other, try to be better than you were the day before, and this is Astron saying, take care of yourselves, and see you later. Hello, and this is another Astron toy review. And today we're going to be doing a quick little double shot of some really small deluxes, Origin Bumblebee, and Goldbug. So, when I did my Cosmos review, for those of you who've seen it, I made a comment that somehow or another I had not managed to get my hands on a single Bumblebee. Most of mine are the larger deluxes, uh, IDW versions, things that are interesting. I missed out on picking up the Netflix edition of Bumblebee, and after seeing how much he is on the secondary market, I opted to go for the four-pack version. And got gold bug. Real quick addendum here at the end of the video. I was looking at what I was going to be doing next, which is these guys. And um, yeah, I was getting ready to put Rekar up with Junk Heap. And I realized, and this would work better with uh, Rekar actually as the bike. Because you can't really peg these into these parts right here. But you can friggin' make them into a quad. And I was, I was okay, that's pretty cool. That's a neat idea. And it gets the wheels out of the way for Retgar when he's riding him. Uh, just something neat and different, an alternate vehicle mode if he wanted to do it. Like I said, using a body like Retgar's, which won't have anything collision uh, around the arms, it would work better. But, um, but yeah, Rekar is a quad. Also, I forgot to mention earlier that, uh, whether this would fit in or work, and, well, it absolutely does. It's, it's great. Um, highly recommend it if you can find it. And like I said, um, I believe we're getting two more Studio Series Junkions. So, um, hopefully, yeah, I can have one as a bike and one as a quad with Junkions riding them. How cool is that? So with that being said, uh, hope you enjoy the uh, alternate version here in my handheld camera mode. And like I said, a, a preview of things to come there in the background as an addendum. Have a good one.